well this is mess if you could see what I see it would be like is that a lot maybe is that a lot hello guys welcome back to my channel today I want to share with you my entire makeup collection my entire makeup collection yeah it's going to be quiet a little video so stay tuned stay tuned I am just going to like uh, you know you see what I mean there I mean I don't mind a little glow but this is not this kind of video anyway guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to speak about the pretty things so excited so excited anyway one thing very important detail sometimes we buy quite expensive makeup bags to find out our makeup doesn't fit <laughs> isn't that the truth anyway i love my makeup bag but my makeup doesn't fit in it but i think we all have our favorites right we all have our favorites which we use on repeat and then you have like the stack of makeup products which are like on a side right i mean at least i do because i don't like to have all this around me at all times so guys as you know my whole makeup doesn't fit to this bag but my favorites do so let's talk about them first i like to start actually with foundations because that's like the most like a massive part of makeup i guess right i i don't know i don't know let's talk about foundation I personally don't think I have that much of foundation. I don't. I just don't think that I have that much. Anyway, guys, so today I actually used, uh, after quite a long time, my two foundations from Vestment Atelier. I have the number three and the neutral colors. So, yeah, you can see one is a little bit more orange undertone and one is super pale. I mean, I really like how this foundation looks on the skin. I love them. I think they are very lovely. Uh, unfortunately, now for winter time, I think they are a little too dry for my skin. But I just like once they sit and you use your mist, how it looks on your skin. I think it just gives you like quite nice, clean looking makeup. You know what I mean? I love these foundations. Guys, they are difficult to blend. I know. They are difficult to blend. So I use this uh, little, is it Kabuki style? I don't know. This one is from Artis. This brand is called Artis. It's a little tiny brush, super soft. It leaves just enough of product on your skin. It's so, so soft. I love this brand. I bought it in Sephora. This is the Palm Brush Mini. Yes, I have this forever, ever. Not so easy to clean, but I love that for this foundation. I purchased a brush from Vestman Atelier. They didn't like it. It broke. <laughs> for no reason. It looked like a dog chew it. And I don't even have a dog. So these two with this brush. Love it. Love it. Love it. My next foundation, which actually I haven't used in a while, guys. It's my Dior Forever. And this is in color 2.5 Neutral. This is the 24 hour wear high perfection skincare foundation with sunscreen. Well, um, it's a little too heavy for my skin, honestly. I think this is foundation I will use, I don't know. I don't think, I mean, I haven't touched this foundation in a really long time. Is it expired? <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, heavy foundation are just like past me. The heaviest will be the Vesma Atelier, but once you blend it well, it's quite nice i think this just creates a very heavy mask on my face but i have it because i purchased it a while ago <laughs> so i still have it i mean when i used it i loved it i thought it looked very good on my skin but right now it's just like still quite well, quite much there but at this moment it's not exactly what i go for but this became a foundation so here it is so as you all know i am obsessed with my shanty kyle foundations guys this is the future skin all free gel foundation in tone vanilla i started using this when we came to prague i wear it usually when we go for date night or things like that it looks quite nice it gives you this very healthy glow um 
I like it. I'm not super obsessed with this one. I am obsessed with the compact. The compact for me, it's like everything as well in tone of vanilla. Guys, I just love this foundation. First of all, super easy to travel it. Like if you do just carry on like I have been doing lately. Mm -hmm. Husband winning again. <laughs> so this is super easy to travel with. The glow which it adds to your skin is just like perfect. It's anti-aging product, guys. I mean, I don't know what it does, but it just like, like make your skin to be so perfect. And this is my forever right now. And I will never live without it. I used to love Amor Pacific foundation. So much better, so much better, so much better for me. It doesn't have zinc though, right? It doesn't have zinc. Um, Amor Pacific is great for like acne problematic skin, but it's very light as well. This one is quite light too, but you can build it up. You can just do one layer and then the second layer, you can build up this foundation. This is my absolute favorite of 2022, guys. I am in love with this foundation. I have only two bronzers, guys. But there is one more thing I use as a bronzer. <laughs> Here it is. So, as you know, I've been having Vesman Atelier for quite a time. This is the Coupe de Soleil. Oh, yeah, that's the name. <laughs> uh, I have it for quite a time. The only... I love this bronzer. The only un uncomfortable part is it's so difficult to open. <laughs> Once you open it, you are winning. <laughs> there. It's perfect tone for, it's not too dark, it's not orange, it's not too pink, it just creates perfect like tone to your face. I mean, I love this, love this bronzer and it's very compact, it's tiny. But I as well use this, guys, as uh, <laughs> my bronzer. This is actually powder from Tom Ford. This is the number three Sahara Dusk Translucent Finishing Powder. I mean, if you apply this in light manners, it just works, but it is a powder. So I will include it as well to my powders, but because I buy it in the darker tone, I always did. I like it as a bronzer to add just a little bit of color, you know? So I don't use it all over my face. I just use it on like specific areas. Of course, not under eyes, of course not. Well, you just see this, this guys, this baby is just, so so good so 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 good i am absolutely in love with this bronzer you need just a little touch of it, it goes all over your face you can use it after foundation or before foundation or just by itself it's so nice it just like doesn't go to your pores it just like looks good it gives you this glow i am obsessed with this goodie obsessed 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 as you know i as well have this bronzer from chanel les beiges les beiges les beiges Le, something. um i haven't touched this since summertime because it clogs my pores i love the packaging i love how elegant it is i like the foundation by itself unfortunately it clogs my pores so i like it gives you like this matte finish which is not like fake matte but as I say, close my pores, so not for me. But I know some of you love it, some of you hate it, and some of you love the first formulation of this. Now you don't like it, it's difficult, right? But I highly recommend you to go for this baby forever. I am not as big in powder, guys. I do have powder, I'm not as big in it. I have two. I have this tiny little packaging from Translucent or from Laura Mercier, the translucent as I say uh, I mean for me powder is something which will last for century honestly that's how much powder I use on my face as you just saw I put powder on my face right now but that was the first time in like a really long time <laughs> and I just did it because of the light because it gives me glow <laughs> so Laura Mercier the Tom Ford which I'm using as a bronzer and here is my Chantecaille. <laughs> I love this powder, honestly. Because, you know, when you use it, it just gives you this is tone. I don't know. 
Poudre Perfect HD Perfection Powder. It may come only in one, guys. I'm not 100% sure. It's not that bright, actually. <laughs> um, there. Can you see it? Anyway, guys, I just love how this gives you very natural touch to your face. It just like gently powders and it doesn't create a very heavy look. Of course it can if you over powder your face, but if powder, this is the powder for me. I haven't touched the Laura Mercier forever. If I am going to use powder, it will be this one. Um, concealers, guys. <laughs> As you can tell, I love concealer. So I have two absolute favorite concealers and it's this from Armani, both. This is the Armani 24 hour and fabric concealer and this is the classic Lum Lumios silk Lum Lumios silk concealer. I have all kinds of colors. I have color 3.5, 4 and something I cannot read. Like super light, which was mistake, but it is what it is. That's why I bought color 4. No, that's why. Because they don't sell 3.5 anywhere here. I look in London. I look all over Europe. Not even on the website of Armani they have 3.5. I think they have 3.5 only in the States. I don't know. But these two I purchased uh, this one in London last time we were there. Because this one is too light. So I decided I'm going to throw it away. Of course not. But I mix them together to create like the good shade for me. So my favorite concealer is this one and then this classic one which I have I think in 3.75 and 5 tone guys. Yeah, as you can tell I like this foundation, I mean this concealer quite much. I don't like to use a foundation on my face all the time. Very often I will just use like around my eye area and like I have like you see this situation here. I'll just cover up that. <laughs> so I am more of concealer person than foundation because I don't like to cover up whole face. I mean, I'm big in skincare. Why would I put foundation all over my face all the time? I have two highlighters, guys. It's kind of enough for me because I don't really use as much highlighter. I have powder one from Tom Ford and Miss uh, um, <laughs> Man Atelier. Wow. So... From Tom Ford, I have the Incandescent 07. I love, I love how rosy golden is this one. I think it's just so pretty. Of course, this one I don't think I'm going to use. I mean, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, and then I love this one, guys. This one is the Nectar Tone from Westman Atelier. I just love how nice gentle shimmer this gives to your face i just think it's super cute very natural you know i love it it's a little melty the structure but it doesn't clog my pores doesn't and it doesn't give too much of shimmer which i don't like either i don't like the metallic faces you know what i mean yeah people still do that so guys, blushes. I have four blushes. As you know, if you watch my videos, you know I have two from Merit. I have Raspberry Beret and Cheeky. I think they are super cute. I love their tone. I like the Cheeky a little bit better. This is more cool tone. This is more warm tone. And my two absolute favorites as well are from Westman Atelier in Chouchette, which is like this very cute pinky i just actually applied it and i slide it over the foundation so it looks kind of different in the packaging because it has foundation on but there i love this um, blush oh <gasps> no i dropped it no way so here goes my favorite powder blush. I'm so disappointed by my actions right now. From Shantikai. Oh my godness. This is in tone Akoya. Me. Favorite eye palettes. Let's talk about eye palettes before I break something. Okay. 
my absolute two favorite eye palettes are from Victoria Beckham. I have, I don't know the name, gone, <laughs> but this is the classic palette, guys, the very nude tones. What I have actually on today, I apply this tone all over my eyelid and then this tone, I just like create a little bit of, you know, shade, loving it. If you want more smoky, this tone is perfect. I actually haven't used the pinky one. I should start using it, but sometimes the color like that, the peachy one in the middle, it's a little too um, orangey undertone for me. This one is called the Silk, this palette. Guys, this is like the girl's best friend. This is Shimmer palette. I mean, look at that. This champagne tone, this golden, this purplish, like gorgeous, this bronze one. I mean, this is the best evening palette on the world every time we go for date night i like to use this palette oh my god i'm just like obsessed with it my next favorite palette is from la bouche rouge i love this one too like look the beautiful beige tones <coughs> again this one is perfect as a base or this one and then you can create this, you know a little bit of smoky eye they are just like perfect nude tones guys i am obsessed with this palette as well you guys always ask me what is this palette this is this 537 touch guys it's discontinued i had two of them just in case <laughs> that's why i still have it do you see how perfect are these tones do you see it i am obsessed with these tones my next favorite eyeshadow is from chantecaille this one is color sylvia it's lovely little golden tone. It's a powder, it's not cream, but it applies very nicely. It has light shimmer, not too shimmery, and it just like gives you like very nice, easy and fast brighten up to your eyes. It's just super cute. As well, I have the Chantecal de Peony tone, which one is a little bit more um, shimmer than I thought it will have. But I still like it. I use it to highlight. I have it on right now here in the in the corners for everyday makeup. It just works. I want to share with you now. Um, speaking of eyeshadows, as well, I love this uh, primer for my eyelids. Not every eyeshadow likes to stay on me 24 hours, so <laughs> I will use primer on my eyelids, which is this one from uh, Urban Decay. This one is the anti-aging. I don't know if it does any anti-aging, but it works for my makeup. They have different styles, but um, I just love how this one makes the makeup last. And you know, sometimes even like when I went after work to the gym, I will usually just remove like my foundation and I will just leave my eye makeup on, of course, because that's a lot of uh, washing before you go to gym, right? This will definitely like make the eye makeup stay even when I was like running. And I used to, I miss those days, I used to run 6 to 12 miles every night. It was fabulous. Then I got hurt. Goodbye running. But I am good jogger. <laughs> So my eyebrow, my eyebrow things, toys, here, this is for my eyebrows. I have uh, these uh, little pens, as you could see in my video about my eyebrow makeup, uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have Ebony and Medium Brown. Love these. Guys, these are so good. So, so good. It's a, <coughs> there, you see? They're wonderful. I love it. Love it. As well, I have these two palettes from Anastasia. One is medium brown, one is dark brown. Have them forever, guys. Forever. Difficult. Here, see? Medium, dark brown. Yeah. Then I have... Um, these are for the eyebrow to set them, right? This is again from Anastasia. I have to say, I'm not obsessed with this, guys. But if you like to play with it, you know, I have it. I haven't used it in a while, but I have it. The Merit Pan is tinted, so it's a little tiny brush um, there. I enjoy it for my dark eyebrows, as you can tell. I like dark eyebrows. I like dark eyebrows. 
and my absolute favorite is this one from benefit i love that the brush has short side and longer side it just sets your eyebrows to perfection it's just awesome guys i love love this one i think it's absolutely fantastic i have mini travel size somewhere not here uh my eyeliners uh for the wings as you know i love to use this tom ford been using it since 2016 i think or 2017 it's just like once you try this you don't need any other it comes it has two sides one side is the spiky one one side is a longer one i use mostly the long one um i am not sure if they share the actual liquid i don't think so i think they have two probably little fills because sometimes when i run out of this side this one still works so wish they were sharing the liquid in between then i have this one from mario makeup by mario this one is brown guys i like to just you know create a little extra smokiness with it then you have this brush on the other side which uh, looks very spiky at the moment but i just like to like break out the eyeliner if i have a softer liner so i have only two eyeliners for my eyes i used to have plenty but uh, I prefer less now. Mascaras. <laughs> so I have, these are the same mascaras from Dior. This was my favorite mascaras for many, many years. I love this mascara. Then something happened and there was a part of uh, make which uh, was kind of difficult to use and it will like uh, allow too much of product on your brush and you will end up with like what is going on. Uh, then uh, I just been to London and because I forgot to bring mascara with me, I went and purchased a new one and I find out the one purchase in England didn't do that. That one purchase in England was the same way as the one I used to use in the States. So it's weird. So this is the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. Then my favorite Chantecal, I have it on today. This is the one which is as well serum for your lashes. I have to say it creates this gorgeous look. I didn't uh, use the, you know, the curl <laughs> but uh, i just love how it looks the only bad thing about this mascara it smudges so i never use it on my bottom lashes otherwise i just love how it looks <laughs> i'm going to speak about some palettes i don't like before we speak about lipsticks guys yes i mean i don't like it's not that i don't like them it's that i cannot use them they give me allergies this gorgeous gorgeous palette from chanel and this is the Les Ombres, guys, in 268 something something in French. I tried, as you can tell, on this one here. I had tried to use this palette, but sometimes it gives me allergy and sometimes it doesn't. And it's difficult to know which day it will work and which day it doesn't. So I wish I could use more Chanel palettes because they have gorgeous colors palette which i just got is this makeup by mario and this is guys in the nude one um you know i thought i'm going to love this one because as you can see it looks a little pinky right it looks pinkish right it does well once i put it on my skin tone it turns orange i don't like orange i like rosy tones I like bronze brown, could be gray, it could be purple, but I don't like orange. <laughs> it just doesn't look good. It makes me look sick. So it's kind of disappointment because it didn't I irritated my eyelids. So I thought it would be kind of good choice for me, but maybe for someone with a little bit darker skin tone it would be better. Or if I was tan, whatever, but right now in winter time when I'm like snow white, no, not the correct time. <laughs> The next palette which I am in love with, what I cannot use, is from Tom Ford, 29 of Norfum, if I'm saying it correctly. Guys, this is a beauty. Look, look, look how beautiful. Isn't this a perfection? Oh my goodness, yeah. One of the palettes which gives me blisters on my eyelids. I bought it just for the beauty of it. 
at, but I tried to use it but immediately it was just like phew. yeah no good lip products yes this will be a lot let's start with this one Manasi 7 super cute I enjoyed this I wish I purchased a little bit darker tone for my lips but I love it as a you know overall like my eyelids my cheeks it's a multifunction product so I like it um, it doesn't last on your eyelids though it will crease because it's cream but I like it I have two lip pencils the first one is from Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk we all know it's perfect and this one guys it's from Huda Beauty I'm obsessed with this one this is the lip contour uh, pinky brown and you roll it up oops I may I may just run out <laughs> get to buy a new one I love this one I love 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 this one the only bad thing about this rolling style is you don't know how much you have left <laughs> as you see guys I'm going to mention my absolute favorite lip product first yes so my Shanty Kyle in um, Meadow Sweet guys <laughs> You know how much I love this. I love, 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 love this lipstick because it's the perfect nude. The perfect rosy undertone nude. Not too pink, not too brown, not too beige, not too orange. Wonders. I have like six of them. <laughs> I am digging in the one which ran out because I am refusing to waste a drop of this. <laughs> So yeah, I always have one in my handbag and this one I have home. <laughs> so when I'm home, I can use, you know, my lip brush and just work with it. <laughs> my next favorite tone, guys, it's from Dior. This one is tone 100 Nude Look Matte. I'm wearing this one right now. It's again, perfect tone. It's not too orange, not too brown, not too orange <laughs> yeah for me if lipstick is too orange it just won't work for me but as well we change guys with the uh, weather right different weather different sunlight different skin tone when you tan when you not tan or things like that when you're sick when you're not sick things look different on us that's why i kind of have a large selection of lipsticks <laughs> yeah a lot of lipsticks so lately as well I have found new love to my Hermes lipsticks. This is Beige Naturel. I have one more uh, somewhere is in my gym bag. <laughs> I mean like I say in Miami they were a little too light for me. Here now in winter time when I am as you see pale they look wonderful again. I'm loving them. They just like so so nice. Really pretty pretty tones. And this one is the Beige Naturel. I have one more, which is, I have more, 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 more Hermes lipsticks, but I am speaking right now about my favorite ones. I will write the name of it here. Of the one I have in my gym bag. Just so you know. Chanticleer. This one. I love this little baby. This is Lip, che lip Chic uh, N.A. N.A. I don't know how you say the name, but my god, it smells so good. This one is more of a shiny thing on your lips. If you don't like too much of color, if you like mostly like a glosses, you will love this one. It gives you like the most amazing, rosy, natural looking, juicy looking lips. It's just wonderful. Love it. Then I have three others from Dior. Two of them are the same. <laughs> Uh, when we went to New York, uh, when was it? Not the last time. But anyway, this is as far as I go with reddish tone lipsticks. This is the 772 Matte Classic lipstick, guys. I love this one. I don't just apply it and leave it on. I apply it and I blend it up. It lasts. It gives you this beautiful freshness look to your face. Of this gorgeous rosy red but not too red you know I don't like red lipsticks on me but this like I say 
the reddest I will go, that's why I have two of them, I did it by accident, I went once I purchased it and then I went again to the store like months later and I was choosing which lipstick I want and I forgot the name, the number and I loved it again, I bought it again. This one is guys 481, as you can see it's <laughs> gone. I have this one for quite a time, it's like beautiful purple cool tone, nude rosy undertone but more cool tone when we went to LA and Seattle one winter, it was it winter time, it was colder, <laughs> it was the perfect lipstick for the time of weather, I will compare the tone a little bit to the Hermes I have but much more intensive, much more pigmented. Makeup Forever, the cutest, first of all horrible packaging, but the cutest rosy lipstick guys, oh my goodness, I love how this rosy tone is. This is the Sassy Rhubarb 164 tone, super cute, hate the packaging though, hate it, <laughs> it's horrible. Who created packaging like that? It's so horrible. These babies are, very well, uh, Pillow Talks. <laughs> from Charlotte Tilbury as you see I'm running out I have one more somewhere I hope I think I did have not just a tiny little one I love this lipstick I think it's just the, one of the most perfect nude tones for which kind of looks good on everyone guys it's just so pretty it's it's like this girly but very natural lipstick you know like ma no makeup look love it oh one more right here Indian Rose from Tom Ford, guys. I used to be obsessed with this lipstick until they changed the tone to much more, I would say, warm uh, rose tone. It's too warm for me now. Um, it used to be more in cool tone. It used to be more matte. Now it's like very not matte anymore. I like the new the old formula a little bit better. This is Kerry from Tom Ford which is very similar to it. No? I haven't used these lipsticks in a long time guys. Very long time. This is Scarlet Rouge. Oh red. I didn't even know I have it. This will never be used. Never. Anyway what else I have here? This was a mistake Marrakesh <laughs> Marrakesh from Mac Mac I love I love 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 the red lip burgundy very nice it's just I am not the kind of girl who to put this kind of color on lips it's just not my thing guys it's just not my thing 683 from Dior as you can see, I still quite have a lot of it. Um, it's very light in pigment, as you can tell. It's cute lipstick, not of my favorites, but it's good one for summertime. Then I have this one from Chantecaille and this one I don't like, guys. This is the Narcissa lipstick. Um, I don't know the exact name of this collection. And I think I ruined it with something. It's very pigmented, look at that, very pigmented, too pigmented, it's not matte, it's very shiny, glossy and uh, it may be good if you apply it on your finger and then just dip it to your lip, but this is not my favorite, but I have it and you want to see. Another mistake I did guys, oh my godness, this was the biggest mistake, Kim K W from Shan uh, Charlotte Tilbury, so I follow this girl. And she said this was her lipstick she's using. Who can... Do you see it? Who can put this on her lips? I mean, I even bought a lip liner, which she was using. It was like super dark brown. And I put it on together. I looked like a vampire. I looked like a vampire. It was so bad. <sighs> Sometimes... It's not good to shop online. I will never buy this lipstick if I actually went in person. It's too orange, too light, ugly, horrible. I have it though. Then I have from MAC Teddy Bear another too orange at this point of my life lipstick. It looks a little brownie here on the camera but it's 
very pigmented very orange tone i used to wear it a lot but now when i'm super light it just doesn't look good anymore then i have mac fast play is that the name of the lipstick which is kind of cute color right here but it's been long time since i had an interest of putting this kind of colors on my lips but as you can see back in the days this was my favorite i have here one from chanel which i forgot about and i like this one this one is 118 eternal i like this one here that's such a pretty matte lipstick it's so old i don't even know if they still make it and i used to love 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 this one is from uh, um what's the name of this brand laura mercier beige intim or something like that if i'm reading it correctly right here you see i go kind of same in shades <laughs> i used to love this one i should take it out of this little bin i as well did a i have this hermes here number 16 beige tadalaki little too orange for me at this point right now we'll have to be really tan for it then i have this one from hermes which is beige a blue blue a blue which as well is on more of the beige but it's rosier you see it's kind of nice actually i don't mind this one and then my soleil right here mm, i love the pepperminty taste so guys Oh, uh, well, I have here this. This is 103 from uh, Giorgio Armani. I mean, it's super cute, but it's again too orange for my tone right now. Sometimes on a camera, it can look a little bit different, guys. So, yeah. I mean, I know maybe you think all the colors which I use daily are very similar to this. Trust me, there is a reason why I have different weather lipsticks <laughs> yeah no so anyway guys this is it this is my makeup collection what do we think about it is it too much i think i have quite many lipsticks and i want even more of course um but i'm stopping myself from buying makeup right now i'm always this close this close <laughs> but i'm good i'm good with not buying anymore and this video is so so long for me to show you my brushes so i'm going to skip guys Anyway guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you didn't subscribe, do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long for you. But it's been a requested video. And I told you in the beginning, it's going to be long. <laughs> Did I? I think so. Anyway guys, I get to go because I don't want to make it any longer. I have to go and wash this off as well. <laughs> okay, see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye.